Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Are the ceremony and reception held in the same place? No, not usually. Most people are married in a church, and then the wedding party and guests go to another place for the reception. Sometimes, however, they hold the reception in a big room in the church. Where do they go? Either they go to a public place such as a hotel, a restaurant, or a club or to the home of the bride. They go to the home of the bride? Why do you ask? The Chinese custom is to go to the groom's home just the opposite. Oh, in our country the bride's family is responsible for the entire wedding arrangement, costs, etc. So the reception is held at her home. That's very expensive for the family of the bride. Many American furthers joke that they would rather hold the ladder for their daughter to climb down and elope than pay for a wedding. Tell me something about the bridal bouquet. Isn't it the custom to throw it? Yes. When the bride and groom are ready to leave on their honeymoon all the single girls gather in one place. The bride stands with her back to them and throws her bouquet over her shoulder and they each try to catch it. The one who does will be the next one married. Maybe I'll be the one. I'm feeling wonderful. Are you crazy? The papers make everybody listless. I don't think you are the exception. I'm no exception, and that's why I spent a whole afternoon in the swimming pool. I'd better exercise my body too. My limbs are rusty now. Well, it was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you too. We should really hang out again. That would be fun. Where do you want to go? I think we should go out to eat. That sounds good. All right, so I'll see you then. I'll call you later. Okay, I'll talk to you later then. See you later. Bye. Is the environment a big issues in your country? It is in mine. It is in mine too. The biggest issue is water. The climate is dry and so water conservation is very important. What methods do you use to conserve water? Water is rationed. We can only use a certain amount each month. It means that we cannot use some modern household items like washing machines. They use too much water. I see. I think the biggest environment problem in my country is air pollution. Yes, I agree. The air here is much more polluted than in my country. Of course, my country is more agricultural and has much less industry. We have reduced emission of air pollutants in recent years but cars are still a major source of them. Factories have become cleaner as stricter environment pollution law have been introduced. The problem is now on a truly global scale. I don't believe that any single country can do anything about it. I think you're right. There needs to be an international response to this problem. It's so relaxing, taking a walk in the country. The air is so fresh and clean. Would you like to live in the country? I'm not sure I'd like it. I can see a lot of advantage and disadvantage. The problem is that, for me, each advantage has its own disadvantage. What do you mean? Well, I hate the noise in the city, but I love being around lost of people. 
The problem is that you can't have lots of people and have peace and quiet. The two just don't go together. I see what you mean. I love being far away from a city, but I hate being so far away department stores and sports facilities. People can't have it both ways. If you live in the country, it is often less convenient. If you live in a city, it is noisy, but there's more to do. I would love to be surrounded by hills and streams. They're so much better to look at than concrete, rows of parked cars and tall buildings. I would love to hear the birds singing and feel the fresh breeze on my face. When the wind blows in the city, you get dust in your mouth and in your eyes. The view from the hill is so beautiful and relaxing. There's so sign of pollution. The village looks so peaceful. Just remember that in that village there's nothing to do. There's not even a pub or restaurant. There's just one small shop with a poor selection of goods. You're right. I would have to travel to the city at least once a week to go shopping and see friends. I would hate living in the country. Excuse me, are you Miss Green? Yes. May I help you? May I introduce myself? Yes. I'm a new student in the school. My name's John. Nice to meet you, John. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Green. Shall I punch out for you, Ross? I am leaving now. No, thanks. I have got to work overtime. But today is Friday. You are not going to work overtime on Friday evening, are you? Well, I am. I'll have to finish this report for next Monday's meeting. Is Tom coming to pick you up? No. We'll meet at my house. He invited my family to spend the weekend with his family at their villa. That's nice. Where is his villa? It's not his villa, but his father's. I think it's somewhere in Florida. I am not sure myself. Sometimes I envy you a lot. Tom is a good guy. Come on. You just haven't met the right person and I think that you work too much. You should learn how to entertain yourself and enjoy life. I know, but I am a work maniac. Well, suit yourself. I've got to run now. Have a nice weekend. You too. Oh, I forgot to tell you one thing. A girl called this afternoon. She said she was your ex-girlfriend. She wanted you to call her back. Did she mention anything else? No, nothing else. See you Monday. See you. Good morning, Mr. Black. I am the new secretary. Good morning, Miss White. You are half an hour early. I don't want to make a bad impression. Come on over. This is your desk, and this is your time card. Be sure to clock in and out before and after you work. I will. One more thing. Keep your desk neat. It's the rule. There is no exception. Even the art designers have to keep their desks neat. I'll keep that in mind. Does everything on the desk belong to me? Not belong. You can use them as long as you work here. When you quit, you'll have to return them to the company. What's the extension number for my phone? The operator will put all your calls through. You don't have to worry about that. Can I make personal phone calls during my office hours? Of course you can. Everyone has his personal matters to deal with more or less, but don't chat over the phone. What's more, don't let it hinder your work and the company's business. I understand. When you settle down, I'll show you around and introduce you to the department managers.
We are doing Secret Santa at the office again this year. Whose name did you pick? I got Jacob. Any ideas what to get him? Booze. Yeah, you're right. Can't go wrong with that. Do you have much experience with kids? Yes, I have three sons. Actually, I also have a grandson. To tell you the truth, sometimes I regret having a baby so early. I have been making so many sacrifices just because my husband insisted on keeping the baby. I understand. I was in your position before. At that time I couldn't depend on anyone taking care of the children for me. My husband seldom stayed at home. What about your mother? Did she help you? Yes, she did a little. But you see, Americans are different from Chinese. You can't depend on your own mother to be a full-time babysitter. She could babysit only once or twice a week. That's it. I had to care for them most of the time. I see. So if my little family goes to America, I would end up taking care of my child all the time. My husband would have to make the bread for us. I just don't know how I would get some education and be able to get a job someday. Don't worry. You can take night classes. I did that when I had kids. And soon your child will be old enough to attend kindergarten. Then you could find a job and work. Sounds not so easy to me. When that happens, I will be too old to learn. No. You see, I went back to school to get my master's degree when I was in my 30s. You won't be older than that. Did you enjoy the movie? Oh, it's really a drag. Sorry to hear that. I think it's even better than on the Golden Pond. Hell with it. Nobody will give it an Academy Award. Hello. Miss. What can I do for you this afternoon? I need the haircut. But you seem so busy today. Yes, it is. Busy today. We usually have a lot more clients on the weekend. Would you like to take a sit and wait for a while, please? Okay. But how long I have to wait? It is going to be more than 30 minutes. It should be around that, if you like. Please for a free to read the magazine while you are wait. Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting, miss. I'll have a dresser Mr. Lee is just finished with a client in a moment or two. Would you have a shampoo first? I'll get it on for you. Okay, thanks. Mom, those burgers smell great. It's perfect day for a barbecue. It sure is. I'm glad it didn't rain. My name's Mike Gates, by the way. Oh, hi. I'm Barbara Johnson. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Barbara. But please, just call me Barb. So Barb, what do you do? I'm studying medicine. Really? Where? At Harvard. What about you? I'm an engineer at IBM. Oh, are you? That sounds interesting. Yeah, I like it. Hey, it looks like the food is ready. Good. I'm starving. Plastic bags are widely used nowadays. But they're hard to be disposed of. In this aspect, I think, pater bags have the edge on plastic bags. Can you study with the radio on? No, I listen to background music. What is the difference? 
The radio has too many comerials. That's true, but then you have to buy a record player. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.